Hello and welcome to my chat GPT review where I'm going to be talking about some of the best features and benefits as well as the pros and cons and giving my thoughts as well about this very popular AI technology. Let's begin right away starting off with some of the best features and benefits for using this and keep in mind given the fact my YouTube channel is based around marketing and business, a lot of these use cases and examples will be marketing and business related. First and foremost is going to be articles, simply for the fact that a lot of people are going to need help or want help when it comes to writing articles. Let me just show you how easy it can be with my prompts and template. All right, so I'm looking to create an article about why YouTube is beneficial for online marketers. Please give me 10 titles that I can use for an article. Let's click on the little arrow here and see what we get. All right, so as you can see, there's going to be 10 of them there. You can pause it and read through them, but I picked one I liked. And with that, now we can continue on starting with our title and go to an outline. So if you want to get an article done, it's going to be much easier if you have an outline because then you can then fill in the inner paragraphs, intros, and outros. So, so write me an outline for the article titled The Power of Video Marketing on YouTube, which I just got from here. Let's click on the arrow and see what we get. Right, perfect. And here is going to be our outline where we have our intro, the benefits, strategies, best practices, and conclusion. What we can do is go through each of these sections and create content based upon this. For example, I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to write a prompt and I'll show you what I do. All right, so write an introduction for this article and make sure that you talk about. And of course, we have our main sections right here. Obviously, we can take some of these out. We can replace them with something we want to put in there. But we have the definition of video marketing, the importance of it, and the rise of YouTube as a video marketing platform. Let's see what we get. All right, so there we go. It starts right off with what video marketing it is and kind of gives you a definition, the importance of it, how it's an effective way to utilize it. Of course, is this going to be based upon the rise of YouTube as a video marketing platform? We can always change that around or add more if needed, but I'm just going to continue on once more. We would do the same thing for all of these. And I'm just going to say, we're going to write a couple of paragraphs about this. So give me one second. I'm going to write it in. All right, so write a few paragraphs about the benefits of video marketing on YouTube and make sure that you talk about the visibility, the engagement, and the higher conversions. Let's roll. All right, so we got a few paragraphs there. Once again, if you want, you can always pause the video and check out the content yourself. But obviously, we can carry on with the same process where we write paragraphs for this section, for this section, and this section. And just like that, that's how you can actually go ahead and create an article. Now, I have completely different videos if you want to see me go through that a little bit more, but I'm going to continue on. Now, given the fact we have an article, there are going to be plenty of other smart usages that we can utilize. In fact, all we need to do is change a few things in order to turn this into a YouTube video script. So what I'm going to do is recopy the introduction because obviously if you have an article and you have a video script, there might be a few things different. Like you might talk about reading an article as opposed to watching a video. So allow me to write a prompt. So there we go. I just put create a video introduction and hook based on the power of video marketing for YouTube. So I left out the other aspects so it can be a little bit more broad. Anyway, let's go with this and see what we get. So look how cool that is. Not only do we have an article, but if you want to turn this into a video, obviously you would have the script for it and you can change this around where not only it gives you what the narrator is going to be saying, but it talks about the visuals that you can use. For example, a montage of businesses utilizing video marketing to reach their target audience. And it goes from there, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So it doesn't stop there too. Let's say we turn this into a script. So we had this here. We had the rest of our article that we could use for a script. What else are we going to need when it comes to YouTube? Of course, we can write a description for for underneath our video. So let's create a prompt for that and I'll show you how it's done. So write me a YouTube script for a video called The Power of Video Marketing on YouTube. Let's roll. All right, so I actually made a mistake here. And as you can see, we have a good amount of content simply because I put write me a YouTube script as opposed to description. So you can just go with the script. You know, maybe you'd probably want it a little longer, but that also showcases what you can do if you enter that in. So let me change this to description. Okay, there we go. So now let's hit enter. And this is what can be used underneath the video. All right, that's perfect. So you can read that there. That's going to be a nice little paragraph that you can put in your YouTube summary section. Aside from that, YouTube is going to be related to SEO. It is a search engine. But what if you need more SEO related options when it comes to chat GPT? We can do that as well. Let's go with keyword research. So how about this? Give me keywords related to video marketing on YouTube. So this could be for Google, this could be for YouTube, maybe Bing, whatever it is you're going to be ranking in. But let's just hit the arrow button or enter and see what we get. Right, overall, pretty bland and pretty broad. You know, you can do a lot better. And this is a good point I want to bring up, which I guess I'll talk about at the end. But I'll say it now in case I forget. ChatGPT is only going to be as good as the user using it. So usually the better input equals the better output. I did say, give me many keywords related to video marketing on YouTube, and I got that. So I'd probably need to be a little bit more specific if I wanted a specific answer to that. Anyway, there are other ways that you can still use it for SEO. How about a meta description? 
All right, so I'm going to talk as this is going over. Obviously, a meta description can be very similar to like a YouTube description. It's usually going to be a lot. It's not going to be as long. It's going to be shorter. So you could probably take one or two sentences out of this, but this is just giving you some more ideas. And then I have one more great way of utilizing this. So let's say we created an article, okay? And then we turned that into a video script. We utilized some keywords. Then, of course, we made descriptions for it. Maybe we got some nice titles for it. Now, how about when it comes to email? Maybe you have a, a list of subscribers. You just post something new and you want to send that to us. So let's quickly write an email that will allow us to share this new piece of content with our subscribers. Here's the prompt for it. All right, so write an email to my subscribers and let them know about the new article I created called Video Marketing on YouTube. Include a call to action at the end of the email where they can read it. As simple as that, right? So if we create an article, obviously it's going to be nice if it ranks there, but if you want some people checking it out as soon as possible, we can do an email with that. Let's click on enter. All right, so unleash the power of video marketing on YouTube. I hope this email finds you well. I'd probably just get rid of that part. I'm sure it will, right? Usually say that like, I mean, do people still say that nowadays? Anyway, uh, talking about video marketing, digital landscapes, and talking about the article, what it's going to be about, you know, what are you waiting for? Take your business to the next level. Here is the call to action. And the last example I'm going to show is writing a Facebook post. So you can use this for Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, Twitters, uh, tweets, uh, you know, Instagram captions, picture captions, whatever it's going to be. But let's say you also wanted to broadcast this on your social media networks, let people know there that you also have some new content. So let's do that last and see what we get. All right, cool. And they even kept up some hashtags and some words there for us to go about in case we want to utilize those. But with that being said, I want to move on to the chat GPT pros and cons. So here's my very quick list of each of those. There's some great things and there's some minor things that can obviously use fixing or could be a little bit better. First and foremost, it has great quality. This is something where I mentioned before, the input is going to be equal to the output and the quality of the input is going to be based upon the quality of the questions or phrases or input that you put in there. This is true with just about any other AI software tool that I've used. And I bring this up on pretty much all my tutorials, you know, especially when it comes to AI is that usually if something is wrong, you know, software can break, you know, things go wrong. But if you're not getting the output that you want, it's mostly because you're not asking the right questions or the proper questions. But overall, when you do ask those great questions, you're going to get some great quality content, which I'm sure you've seen many times before, especially in this video. Aside from that, there are many great uses for this. This is just for like marketing and business related. And even with that, there's still hundreds of other ways that you can utilize it for marketing and business. Like when it comes to say like landing pages or copy or website stuff about me pages, uh, you can do interview questions, you can do podcast scripts. I have plenty of other videos that showcase that. So even if you weren't utilizing this for marketing or business, you have even way more usages that you could just pretty much do anything you can almost think of almost. Okay. Then of course, it is great that they do have a free option. So this is something that people can utilize if they haven't gotten, you know, to test out AI, or if you want, like me, you can combine it with other AI tools, give given the fact, you know, I review a lot of them. I have so many AI tools myself. So it's cool for me to be able to add it to my bag of tricks, so to speak, so that I can have plenty of options based upon what I may need or want and what I feel like using at the time. So those are some of the pros and cons. In between that, I do want to say that you make sure you fact checked any of the stuff that you get. Like other AI options, it's never going to be 100% perfect, especially if it comes to like dates or recent things happening. Uh, and based upon that, moving to the cons of ChatGPT, it is going to have very limited knowledge. If you go back to the homepage, let me do that. It will say limited knowledge of world and events after 2021, which is I know is going to be a big deal for some people. I don't think for everyone. Uh, that's why it's always not going to be great when it comes to recent or fresh events. Like if you go to Google, you're probably going to get obviously much better results, though that is like a one up if you compare chat GPT versus Google. But for some people, you don't really care about that. If you're talking about how YouTube is going to be beneficial for marketers, you know, that can talk about today's day or, you know, five years ago, it's still going to be beneficial. So that's something to keep in mind. For my usage, I have noticed that it crashes a good amount of time. I know a lot of people have talked about that. The good news, in my opinion, is that will get fixed eventually simply because there's just so many people utilizing this that it crashes a lot. I know they are going to be opening up their paid plan. So hopefully that can help with that as well in, in terms of downtime and whatnot. 
Uh, but aside from that, something else is that there's a limited amount of content per hour. This is something I have run into a ton, given the fact I do so many tutorial videos that I'll have to actually stop because I'll get an error and it'll say like, you have created too much content at once. So that also goes into the fact that it's not going to be the greatest for scaling. Like it's good if you want to do an article here and there and wait, say like one a day or whatever it's going to be. But if you're looking to just constantly use it and churn out articles with the free version, that is, uh, I haven't used the paid one out because it's not out yet based upon at this time of creating this, it will be in the future. So I don't have any experience with that. So if that changes, you know, that'll change, but based upon where it is right now, it's not going to be the greatest option for scaling just because you'll have to wait and stop based upon the amount of usage that you go through. All in all, though, wrapping up this chat GPT review, I think that it is a solid AI technology. You know, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. I like the fact that it is free, so people do have an option now, and it creates great quality content. So there's not too much to really bash about this. I do like the fact that they will have the paid or premium plan, given the fact that anyone wants to use that, they can get better perks, better benefits, and everything else that comes along with it. So feel free to try it out. You know, get an opinion yourself. That's always the best way to do it. You know, you don't have to take my advice for it. You know, just try it out yourself and see how it goes from there. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this chat GPT review. There are so many usages for this, so many templates, prompts, and use cases, but you know, try it out yourself, see how you can do it, and then go from there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you got some more insight out of this when it comes to the chat GPT overall. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James, and I will talk to you soon.